Hi everyone. A lot of you have been asking about these bears. Here's one that I've just I've finished, as you can see. It's all the way around. This one is halfway there. And this is a custom I'm doing. <clears throat> now the first tip I'll tell you which I learnt with the pink one is all your gaps here oh there can you see how I've left some it's going to be the same on this side it's because when you're going round this bear you're going to have to move the legs now if you put the jewels too far up can you see there you're going to get some coming off so you're best off leaving a good three rows. So you can move the legs to get into the positions that you need because they are quite fiddly to get to. It's going to be the same on the arms. You can see I've done too many there. So when I go up there, it's catching. But I can just about manage to get into there. So my advice is leave all your creases and do those last. And else your drills are going to fall off. You're not going to get them straight all the time because of the way it goes. But you're not going to be able to see it. As you can see I've gone down there, I've gone there, I've gone there, nice and straight. Go to this point here, you're getting your curves. While you're doing it, you, you probably will get stressed a little bit thinking, oh, it's not straight, it's not straight. Once it's all done, you can't tell. The thing with this is, is to take your time. Don't be rushing it. Now, I did put a video up of how I started doing it. So, if we go to the back there, I started with the ears. I started filling it, going across there. And this is what I did. So, get my glue. Now, you get this that stops it from sticking so you can always get back into it and then your cap's not locking for the glue get some there <clears throat> some of the lovely picky stuff now this is the light blue one Those lovely herbies. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not using a tray or anything like that. I'm just going to squeeze it. Let it come out. See there. And all I'm going to do is do this. A bit more. Now this will last for a while. It does smell. Be warned. There we are. Don't forget, stick that back on. If you don't want to be ruining your glue, it does get a bit fiddler. Now you can go around the ear, or you can go across. It does not really matter. So yeah, they're sticking straight away. You lift just a bit of glue. Just get a bit of glue from the other side. Just get your drill. Get a bit of that glue. Pop it there. Now 
And once you've filled all the, uh, like that side, the part I start on next after the ear is across there. So same again, I'll just get me the drill, pour some out. You get plenty of glow so you will not run out. See? Yeah. All I'm going to do is again, just go straight across. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. So shake hands, I'm just in an awkward position because of the camera. And you can use your multi drill as well. So got keep on carrying down, going across, or you can go down. You could actually do it this way. Say so there's no right way or wrong way how to do it. Oh, don't have to bet but but remember here stop here same here go across there leave all your gaps to last so if I go down from there I'm gonna try get into a straight line if you don't get it you can always move these drills as well with the glue because the glue stays quite wet for a while. And you do get, after you finish one of your bears, you do get a lot of the Airbees extras as well, which is good because you always come in under other things to do. Yeah, pretty simple to do. On the Mickey Mouse one, I've got my pen and my rubber. But I'm to Google, Google some Im images of Minnie Mouse. Once a wrapper with what I've drawn on it, I just started doing the out outlines on it. Which I'm pretty glad with. The only thing is, I've got no red AB drills. And I was a bit disappointed with my black ABs because they don't look black. I've got a lot of blue tint in them. So my Mickey Mouse looks like a bluey back black. What I'm going to do there is, you can see it's not straight, put your fingers straight it down. So you just carry on gluing it all. Same on your sides there. Keep on going down in your rows or going across. It's up to you which way you want to do it. Like I said, it'll all still look the same in the end. Then I do the back. Same again with the glue. Until it's like that. With this one I went across. But if I went down, it won't look any different. Sorry, it won't look any different. As you can see, so can you see the mess under there? I've done the arms here. That's because I didn't know at the time to leave them empty to the end. Let's just close it up. 
up. The glue is so spelly. It's unbelievable. Now with the black AB, this is what I'm going on about. You can see it looks blue, it looks like a dark blue, don't it? Right. For this, I've got some jellies around the mouth. The black AB. Some normal drills for the face. Some ABs that I had spare for the eyes. Normal drills, which I'm not keen on these red ones. Three shorts, and I'm just starting on his gloves there. But I'm just taking rest from that at the moment. But I will show you the pink one that I've just finished. Not bad. Got all those spare. And probably would have had some more if I'd not taken so many of, of them off at first. This is the light blue, which is this one here. Which is quite nice to be honest, quite like that. Then we have the greens. Got a hint of yellowy orange and some blue there in them. Nice and vibrant. The yellow. Hint of a dark yellow and some white in there. I mean, you do get a lot in them, which is good because we all love us, are these? <clears throat> this is the darker blue. If you look at that compared to that, you won't think there's much difference, but there's a slight difference in there. Only just a slight. Because if I show you the front, let's see what I've done below that there. That's actually done in the dark blue. This is the very pale pink. As you can see from the two different pinks. The difference. And then we have the purple there. Now this is probably my favourite one. Can you see all the different colours coming from on that one? <coughs> I think it's because it's slightly darker as well. So I think that one's going to look lush. Now I got these for off eBay. I think they about I think they came to about twelve pound, thirteen pound for one each. You get your B seven glue of it. You get your pink wax and your green tray. And a pen. I'll show you one that's not being done. Like this. Just take your time with them and enjoy the process. Trust your own instincts and don't worry, you're not going to get everything exactly straight. But once all your drills are on, you're not going to notice. It's so sparkler. With this one, I used some white ones and I changed it over, which are quite good. I did the same on the nose. It's just some of my nail ornaments I've popped on there. A little bow. There's all sorts of different stuff you can do with them. Once they're done, they look lovely. Not recommended for kids to play with because the jewels could come off. Okay. I also did the feet on that one. 
I didn't on this one because I think that one stands up better. What's this one light me now? Yeah, can you see how it's rocking there? So I haven't done the feet. But you could do because you could have them in all different you could have one sitting down with the arms. So you could do one sitting like that. It's gonna make me like to be a liar. One sitting like that, one there, one standing up. So that's just a quick info there for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you ever so much for watching. See you all later. Bye.